Good morning, I'm Carl. Welcome to Coffee with the Garden Boy. So we've been talking for a while about different plants uh, that can be grown from seeds and from other things that you can buy in the grocery store. Um, the next plant that I would like to talk about is the pepper. Now, people often ask, can I save seeds from peppers that I buy in the grocery store? And the answer is maybe. I'm going to go let the cat out. I'll be right back. So the reason I say maybe is that not all peppers are going to work out the way that you expect them to. The peppers you buy in the grocery store are probably hybrid peppers, which means that they've taken two different kinds of peppers and cross-pollinated them to make the pepper that you're finding in the grocery store. So you don't know for certain that when you plant that seed you will get the same type of pepper, but you will probably get something not too far off. If you plant a bell pepper, you're probably not going to get habaneros, but, uh, but you may get a, a different shaped bell pepper, you may get one that is very vigorous but doesn't produce as many fruit. You might get one that's, that's producing really well, but the flavor is a little bit different than what you expected. It's maybe not as sweet uh, or you know that sort of thing, maybe not as large. Um, but you can save seeds. However, there is one other caveat, and that is that if you get a green pepper and save the seeds from that green pepper, they will not do as well as if you get a red or yellow or orange pepper and save those seeds. You might wonder why. The reason is that green peppers are actually immature versions of red, orange, or yellow peppers, depending on the, the variety and the, the color process that that goes through as it develops. So green peppers are, are kind of it, it's like buying an immature plant and expecting the, or immature um, fruit and expecting the seeds to develop properly. They might, but they very well might not. So you want to get the most mature pepper that you can get. So get a colored pepper, not green, and, and use that as your starting point for saving seeds. Now I would and I don't know if this is necessary or not, but I would probably take that pepper and just let it sit on the windowsill for a while and see if it can't get a little bit more ripe. Um, and uh, I would say before it gets too soft, then you cut into it and you can collect the seeds. Now with a the pepper, there's not much to it. I mean, you can see the seeds, they're easy to scrape off. You don't get much of the flesh of the pepper um, in, the, uh, in the seeds. And so once you've got those seeds, just lay them out on, on some dry surface. I will use usually a paper towel and, um, and let them sit for a week or, or more until they're really dry. Once they're dry, you can put them in a seed packet and hold on to them until you're ready to use them. But you might want to, like I said with tomatoes the other day, you might want to run a germination test. And this is always good with seeds that you're not sure about. To make sure that you have something that's going to uh, germinate well. Now if you want a variety of peppers and you want to improve your odds um, in terms of getting a, uh, a good outcome, you will probably want to buy several different peppers, maybe even from different stores. Um, you might also want to think about going and finding um, you know, other peppers, other types of peppers like chili peppers or what have you, and you can experiment with planting those too. Once again, you want, you want something that's a different color than green if you can get it. If not, 
you know, give it a shot and, and try a germination test and, and see how it's going to do before you start wasting peat pots or other soil um, and time trying to germinate something that won't germinate. Um, so it's not much more complex than that, except to say that when it's time to actually start your peppers, you're going to want to start them in a warm place. Um, you might want a, you know, if in my, in my zone uh, 6B, we have to keep our house fairly cool at night and, uh, and not even that hot during the day. And so peppers really like warmth. You may, if you live in an area like that, um, want to get a seed mat, uh, a heat mat to go under, <laughs> seed mat, a heat mat to go under uh, the, the starting tray. That way you will at least create enough warmth um, for it to start. I would use a covered tray if I were using a heat mat, and I don't want to you know, have it too warm. You don't want to cook your seeds, but, um, but having it covered keeps the moisture in, and that way you, uh, you don't have to worry about letting it dry out. Uh, when your when your little sprouts are tiny and you know and having the all of them fail because you went away for the weekend or uh, um, or just plain forgot and got busy. One of the cool things that I found in the last year when we've started getting takeout more than we ever had gotten takeout food before. So I'm finding these cool um, takeout containers from some restaurants. I'm going to show you one of them. Um, so here's that container, and it's a very sturdy container. I think it's crazy that they are giving these away with takeout, because this makes a really nice seed starting uh, tray. And so you put you know a little bit of soil in here, and you put your um, in this case pepper seeds, and you plant them. You know, give them a, a couple inches on each side, and uh, you can plant them closer if you want. Cover it over, put it someplace warm, and you know, in the dampness that you originally start with will stay in the container. You have to check it so often, every so often, to make sure that it's not too damp, it's not getting moldy, um, but. Uh, it is a nice way. You might want to, you know, if, if you find that it is, you can poke a couple of holes in it. But it's a great way to keep your your starts um, damp without having to water them every day. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a handy handy thing. So you can find other solutions like that. Uh, I'm sure uh, free solutions or repurposed things um, that will be service covered trays. But these are really sturdy, and so I really like them. Anyway, um, that is uh, the story with peppers. But if you have any further questions, please feel free to get in touch, uh, leave comments, leave questions below, and I'll try and get back in touch with you. You can also reach me um, on the Food Forest Garden Club website. There's a contact form at the bottom, and I love interacting with people. So if you've got uh, questions, please send them my way. You can find me on Instagram uh, at Food Forest Garden Club. Um, and uh, you can find me here again tomorrow morning talking about uh, something else that uh, hopefully will be of use to you in your garden in the spring. Until then, hope you enjoy your day.